This isn't your mama's interdimensional cable. It's also not your motor's mind blowers. Something different. And here we go again with another Rick and Morty. And season seven so far. Ooh, ooh wee. I'm giving it some thumbs up here. This this has been uh pretty interesting. I really, really like this episode. I love this episode. It was absolutely killer. There's not a ton to say about it because we're all still reeling from all of the crazy canon stuff that was going on. And, and um, this was creative. It was interesting. It kind of, uh, it was self-deprecating, made fun of itself a little bit. And uh, it gave us a look into a bunch of interesting stuff. Where did we leave Rick? We left Rick and Morty. They had just finished taking out Prime Rick. And there's going to be spoilers for this episode. But we're going to review the plot a little bit. What what plot there was. But So Morty decides to cash in. He's going to cash in his chips and blips. He's going to cash in for that free adventure that he was looking for. Because he can see that Rick is looking a little down. And uh, let's take a look here. We have an interesting article from whoever these guys are. What is this site? Bleedingcool.com actually did a review. It's so late at night that I'm, you know, jumping right on as soon as I saw the episode. And, and very few people have actually reviewed it at this point. But I'm going to agree with a lot that's on this, uh, this, this article here by Ray Fluke. Congratulations, Ray. <laughs> Ray's like ran and typed up the shortest thing he possibly could. Anyway, so Rick wants to audit the tickets that he gave to... Morty and he doesn't believe that Morty's got the got the the proof to back it up. So he's got, you know, Morty's got a list of he's like, I took notes. Well, he knows Morty too well and he knows that some of them are fraudulent. So he wants an audit. So he he calls in a watching stone or what the hell? I don't even know what the heck the thing was called. A viewing stone, something that sees everything. And they're like, you know, he keeps inputting things. He's like, oh, let's uh, let's take a look at that. And he's like, look, so it's essentially like a clip show, but it's not a clip show. And then they get annoyed because they're saying like, hey, this clip show, you know, he's clip showing our life, man. Why is he clip showing? Why is he doing that to us? Um. So he goes through and the, this, the rock, the observer, they're like, we hate his life. We hate his voice. We don't like him. So Rick pays him double and says he did a good job and gets him out of there. But the guy's not satisfied. He has not gotten what he wanted from Rick and Morty. So he comes back. And one of my favorite parts is he's like, I'm standing on the sidewalk, bro. It's public property. And then the whole family gathers, and he starts insulting the whole family, including Beth and including Summer. So it was good to see <laughs> Summer. Summer's joke was great, too. I mean, this was just laugh a minute. <laughs> There's a joke about these crazy space things stealing uh, stealing seven, <laughs> sevens and above. <laughs> and, and Summer wants to know if she's a seven. And she's like, don't worry, it's all fake. And all these better looking people keep getting snatched. And she's just like so <laughs> totally upset. It's just so funny because it totally plays on all their insecurities. Um, it reads Jerry and Jerry's like, I'm embarrassing. I don't know what you expected. He's, he's like, I'm an embarrassment. <laughs> it was great. I just, this episode was just bang, 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 bang with all the the comedy the, there's a bar where they turn morty into a boat and morty sit they sail morty out into the high seas and get stranded in the middle of the ocean and rick's just like yeah we gotta go he's like i wasn't even in that one uh it was really really good um what was another i love the whole pet cemetery sketch was great he's like i've never dealt with pet cemetery matt like science he's like let's do science experiments on it oh it's really really good um it's definitely it, it's interesting because it was like slightly different take on interdimensional cable morty's mind morty's mind blowers because they eventually go on trial and they start using the trial to 
you know, defend themselves and what have you. I heard this joke, but I I kind of missed it, so I appreciate. Um, it was yeah, it was episode six, and uh, there's this was a, a great dig at Warner Brothers Discovery when Rick announces him to Morty because they're like, you would never intentionally kill a person, and he's like, well. And they they killed the versions of themselves that appeared in Space Jam too, <laughs> and they welcomed death so they could escape their <laughs> their existence. And Morty has a new nemesis, Mister Charo. <laughs> Mister Charo is coming back, and he's gonna get Morty. Um, overall, just a f- fantastic, fantastic episode, and the perfect palate cleanser to what we saw last week, which was like I said. Interesting because they brought back Canon in and they were like, you know, trying to do different things. And this just felt like a nice breath of fresh air. It, it, it didn't delve too dark into Rick and being depressed about, you know, taking out his nemesis. I just, I thought this was great. Um, can't, I can't, there's just so many good jokes. Oh, <laughs> There's a great 2A Second Amendment joke where they're going. <laughs> they're going to. He keeps giving Morty guns because Morty keeps getting bullied at school and Morty doesn't know what to do with himself. So he keeps giving him guns. And he's like, here's a gorilla gun. <laughs> so he shoots a bully with it and it, it hurts the bully really bad. And he's like, I thought it would turn the bully into a gorilla. And he's like, I gave you a gun that would kill gorillas, Morty. And then he gives him a bully gun. And then he <laughs> shoots himself with the bully gun because he thinks it'll make him a bully. And he's like, I'm going to give you less ambiguous guns, Morty. So he gives him a real gun, which is a really great throwback to the Bush world where he turns a science gun into a real gun. I've got a real gun, Morty. It's a real gun. So he gives Morty a real gun. He's like, it's a real gun, Morty. You're going to have to use this. Yo, when do you use it? When there's a bag. So he shoots the gun and Jeffrey Dahmer shoots out of it. <laughs> oh, And I love the girl that he likes. She's like, what is going on here? And he's like, I don't know. Just run. <laughs> and Jeffrey Dahmer's like, hi there. Yeah, it was just good. It was so good. So many jokes. So many jokes. Uh, I'm super thrilled with this season. This is almost like season two or three back again i'm feeling good i've I've gotten six episodes and basically all six have been pretty good and it's all because we keep criticizing criticizing dan Harmon. that's right if we keep taking it to dan Harmon, he's gonna keep feeling insecure he's gonna have that edge that he needs so keep pouring on the criticism no more love you know, rip him for firing uh, Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland coming out. I think he came out publicly saying something like, they're destroying my work. That could be a lie. I don't know. Um, but Ray Fluke gave it a 9 out of 10. He sounds like a character from Rick and Morty. Come on, dude. Time to change your name, bruh. Anyway, I just thought this was amazing. Good job all around. And... Uh, I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to keep reviewing. I liked it, and I hope you did too. Let me know in the comments. What did you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. Give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. We do have a live stream you can catch Friday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us because it's also on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify for free to you. We love all y'all, but I'm on to the next one.